my question is whether this truss is determinate or indeterminate the same question again whether this truss is determinate or indeterminate well in this video i will discuss how to determine the determinacy of a truss whether it is externally determinate or internally determinate so welcome to my channel here you get videos on analysis design and construction on every tuesday and friday before starting the determinacy or how to check the determinacy of any truss first you need to know what is equilibrium now you may ask me what is equilibrium what does it means equilibrium means a structure for example here consider this beam these are two support and this is the force applied on this beam so if i say this beam is in equilibrium it means that after application of the load this beam does not move or the beam is static and when the beam is overall static each and every joint or the support or the node whatever you can say is also in equilibrium so if the structure is in equilibrium or the if the structure does not move or the structure is static in that case every joint of the structure is also in equilibrium okay now to satisfy this equilibrium condition you have to satisfy some equation what are those equation these equations are known as static equilibrium equation so if a structure is in equilibrium every joint of the structure is also in equilibrium so if the joint suppose this is the joint is in equilibrium what does it mean this joint does not move in this direction or in this direction or does not rotate okay so to satisfy this situation you have to apply always an opposite reaction to the direction of force suppose you are applying a force in this direction so you have to apply a reaction force in this direction and the summation of these two force should be zero this is the x direction so summation of force in x direction should be zero to make this joint static similarly for y direction the summation of force should be zero to make the joint static and also the overall moment say you apply a moment in this direction so this joint tend to move like this clockwise manner to resist this moment movement or rotation you have to apply an opposite rotation so again the summation of moment for this joint should be zero to make this joint or the node static okay so when you satisfy all these three conditions then you can say that this joint is in equilibrium clear this is the fundamental of any equilibrium or any equilibrium situation now what is static determinacy so before static de determinacy you should know the meaning of determinacy what is determinacy determinacy means something that can be determined or something that can be known okay or something that can be derived so from where we have to know before knowing something we have to discuss what are the unknown for this structure if you apply this load what are the unknown force first the three reaction for pin joint there are two reaction one is horizontal and another is vertical reaction and for roller there is only vertical reaction why because a roller can move in horizontal direction that's why there is no horizontal reaction so we have three reaction force and also within this member there are some internal force suppose in this section you want to know the shear force for the moment that is also unknown so for right now if i consider only the external forces in that case we have three unknown now if we can find all this unknown force for reaction force for this structure then we can say that the structure is determinate okay but we have to find all these unknowns say all these three reaction from three equations what are those equations this equation the equation of static equilibrium that's why this type of determinacy is known as static determinacy okay so static determinacy is always associate with your static equilibrium equation clear now go to the truss this is our topic we have to determine whether this particular truss is determinate or not if it is determinate in that case whether it is externally determinate only or internally determinate also clear so for a truss what are the external forces these reactions are external forces just i have discussed for pin joint vertical reaction and horizontal reaction and for roller only vertical reaction this is the roller end that's why here is only vertical reaction clear and what are the internal forces in this example the internal forces was like the shear force the bending moment or the axial force in this member but for a truss there is no bending moment or any shear force there is only axial force okay for this axial force you actually design your truss how many axial force you need to find to design this truss 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 total 11 number of internal forces you need to know 
so for this truss there are total three external force external reaction and 11 internal forces need to be known so if i want to say that this truss is externally and internally determinate in that case you have to find all these 14 forces unknown forces among which three are external reaction force and 11 are internal reaction force so you have to determine all these 14 forces and from where you have to determine is again from those equilibrium equation so for particular any joint if it is in equilibrium you can form three equation now let's check whether this truss is determinate or not first you have to find whether it is externally determinate or not then internal determinate or not then we will find overall it is determinate or not okay this is the vertical reaction for roller support this is the vertical reaction for pin support and horizontal reaction for pin support okay you can form for each and every joint how many equation total three equation for each joint so three unknown and three equation so you can find that this is determinate or this is solvable you can find all these three unknowns from three equation okay now it is our time to determine whether it is internally determinate or not so to find the internally unknown forces each and every joint you can form how many any equation just consider this joint a here 4 kN is the externally applied load you have already find the external reaction okay the horizontal reaction and vertical reaction now this is the force in member ag you have to determine and this is the force in member ab you have to determine so how many equilibrium equation you can form for a joint fx is equal to 0 and fy is equal to 0 total force in this direction or x direction is 0 and total force in y direction is 0 but you can say for equilibrium situation there was three equation last one was summation of moment is equal to zero so why here we can't use that see that each and every force is passing through this point about which you are going to take the moment this force this force this is the axial force and this is also the axial force so every force is passing through this point so obviously even if you take the moment about this point that is always zero so it is meaningless it cannot give you any equation that's why we are not taking the third equation okay we are only considering two equations so if there are total number of joint is j we can form how many equation 2j in our case what are the number of joints 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so total joint is equal to 7 so you can form 14 equation and what are the total unknown number of reaction was 3 and internal forces for each every member you have to find the internal forces so internal forces is equal to the number of member in our case it is 11 so total unknowns are r plus b and total equation are 2j here r is the number of your reaction and b is the number of internal force which is unknown to us and 2j is the number of equation which can be formed from the joints okay now if the number of unknown and the number of equation is same so in that case we can solve that set of equation similarly here the number of unknown and number of equation are if same so in that case we can solve that and we can say that the structure is determinate okay so in our example r is nothing but 3 the number of reaction force and b is the number of internal force or the number of member and joint is 7 so total equation can be formed is 14 so here unknown number of variable is 14 and number of equation is also 14 so this truss is determinate now you have learned already how to check the stability of truss and also how to check the determinacy of truss so it's time to analysis if you find this video useful don't forget to subscribe